What's going on guys, it's Bryce here, and I'm back with a huge Playboy Cardi update. Oh my god, this man has been dropping snippets, he dropped a song, he's been dropping hinting at features, he has posted more on his Instagram than I've ever seen him post in his entire life, and we're gonna get into all this information, including album, release window, but let's just get into it before we do that. Make sure you like, subscribe, so some love of the channel, any love, eh? I'd appreciate greatly, but let's get into this, so... Playboy Cardi, now I'm going to spit a lot of facts and news and piece together all the news together in a nice, concise fashion for you guys, so you guys are up to date on everything he posted is that's important, because he posted a lot of things, not everything is important. So, we're going to get into it, this is going to be less of a conversational video, you know, I kind of like to get in here and talk my thoughts and stuff. We're on the, the roller coaster ride for rollout right now, so it's less about theories since shit is dropping, and it's more about information, so I'm going to stop my yapping, alright, and we go get into this, so... Starting out, DJ Academics confirmed via Playboy Cardi himself that the album Music will be dropping January 2024. Of what's going on? Cardi is ready to press the button on the rollout. You're going to see more posts from him, more activity from him, more motion from him, and Cardi season is in effect starting today. The album. The project, the music, what you've waited for, will be delivered in January. Let's go. I mean, we know that Cardi gives DJ Academics information. DJ Academics has been wrong in the past about Cardi, but that's not DJ Academics' fault. That is Playboy's Cardi's fault for being a, not a liar to play to, to Academics, but more of like, Cardi changes his mind, you know? There might be a rollout, might change, this has happened time and time again, but... Whenever it does happen, we know that there's something currently set in stone, and I'm saying right now, Cardi's gonna be dropping his album, because we got lots of more stuff to go over. So, if we know that Cardi's dropping in January, tour starts January 14th, leaving the two Fridays, which are the traditional days music drops, being January 5th and 12th, for Playboy Cardi release dates. Either of those two days, Playboy Cardi will be dropping his album music. If not, it's going to be any date from January 1st to the 14th, but if we're going by Fridays, 5th or 12th, that's the release date. We got, we got fucking release dates, so that's exciting. Now, going into these posts, Playboy Cardi, I'm just going to go in chronological order. And what we got, Playboy Cardi posts Tyler, the creator. Boom. That's fire. Playboy Cardi posts this BS music tweet about Young Thug, and I wasn't really sure who this was talking about. I thought maybe it was just about music in general, just the state of the scene since a whole lot of Reddit. Everyone's just kind of copying the wave, but I kind of thought about it more. Maybe talking about Osama-san. He did drop flex music, and there was that whole back and forth with Ken and Osama-san back a little bit ago, so I could see that happening. Also, D Savage, we know there's a beef there. D Savage also dropped on the day that Cardi posted this. Okay, nothing too crazy though, but we got our first snippet now. Playboy Cardi first played the beat of the snippet, then he played a snippet of the song itself, which was recorded the night prior to him posting it, which was dope. It involves DJ Swamp Izzo, so we can confirm that he is a part of the project again. And I'm not gonna play the snippet Link in description, I'm not going to play any music in here because I'm deathly terrified of copyright, especially Cardi. I've been bitched by cop by copyright from Playboy Cardi so many times, they've tried to take my channel away. It's not happening this time. Link in description. But this is fucking dope. I mean, this is fucking dope, and it might even be produced by Pharrell. Pharrell reposted it. It kind of does kind of sound like Pharrell beat, so I could see that happening. And of course, having DJ Swamp Izzo back involved makes me think. Maybe Rockstar, maybe Pop Out's gonna be on the album. I don't know. I don't really think so. I think those are just more promotional and like tour types things, but we don't know. This also got me thinking on what's next. You know, we have the viral post of that phone case in the Opium Opium account, which is alluding back to Filthy's tweet about viral and it's in quotation marks. I think that's a song title. So we should be getting that soon. Another piece of news we got that's Playboy Cardi related, but not even from Playboy Cardi, is Ty Dolla Sign posted the track list to him and Kanye West album, Ye and Dolla. And there's a song called Fuck Some on there, which if you know, that is a snippet featuring Playboy Cardi and Quavo. Again, link in description, not playing it, but that's going to be dropping on the album as long as they don't cut Playboy Cardi's verse or he doesn't pull out. But I don't think Playboy Cardi would ever pull out of a Kanye project. So uh, that's coming. That's also coming. Playboy Cardi then takes the merit to drop a single a song, a music video going by the title of You're the Moon. Not sure if that's the official title, but that's what people are running with. It's out. I mean, you guys are seeing it play on the screen now. It is fucking out. Wow. Again, link in description. Can't play any of it here. It's produced by KP Beats, who also posted a lot of the art and such. And we're going to get into some producers that might be involved who were posting art and such. So, 
that's sick. I mean, this song is great. I mean, at first, I wasn't sure how I completely felt about it, but upon repeat listens, it's addicting. I'm listening to it over and over again. If you're not liking it now, you will soon. Hashtag I survived whole lot of red night one. I know how you guys play, bro. Y'all are fucking picky and like to be on the wrong side of history, but me? Nah, not over here. We are enjoying greatness. Then, Playboy Cardi posts The weekend. Which was dope, which I could definitely see a collab coming up, but we're gonna get into potential collabs I have a whole list here. I'm gonna get into but he was also wearing an exo chain in this music video for you're the moon So that's super interesting to see that tie seems to be very close Playboy Cardi then Posts him DMing Frank Ocean like joking pressing him to drop He's like what post the snippet then you scared So I'm not sure if he's referring to Frank Ocean's new music because it is kind of a meme that they're both doing a rollout at the same time or if They have music together and he's telling Frank to post a snippet of that either way that's incredibly interesting to me. And I mean, there's hell other stories. As you can see, a plethora. I mean, I've never seen Playboy Cardi's Instagram look like this ever. Like, even before the whole fucking whole lot of red shit. Ever. Playboy Cardi don't do this, but he has now. So I'm going to go through my list of possible features, and I'm going to throw up my, my reasonings on the screen while I go through them. Pharrell. Okay. Wheezy. All right, posted Wheezy. Cardo. He also produced Killers and Narcissist tracks, and he's been posting the cover arts and such, so I can see that happening. Drake and Kanye West confirmed to both be working with Cardi recently via King Bob. The Weeknd, of course, he was posting The Weeknd. Frank Ocean, that DM, thought of the creator, posting him. Travis Scott and Lil Uzi Vert both played songs at Playboy Cardi's birthday party. It's only right that they get featured. And then L5, I think could be possible, because I don't know if he's really signed to Opium, like I said in my other video. I think maybe he's just featuring the album, and this is, you know, Cardi giving him his care package for being a part of the album. And of course, maybe Ken Carson, maybe Destroy Lonely, maybe Homicide Gang. We might get them, but I'm not even banking on opium features, because I don't even know if Cardi's gonna do them the merit of that. But we're gonna have to wait and see now. This is a very live and active situation, so if you're watching this video now, Check Playboy Cardi's Instagram story, Let just see if I missed anything, because Cardi literally posted like a few minutes before I even started recording this, so he's actively posting. Make sure to check it out, but the main things we got here is we got the snippet for that song, we know that he's on Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign's album, and we got the new song, You're the Moon. So, we could expect the album, January 5th or 12th, most likely, I'm extremely excited, but I mean... Like I said, that's the information I got here. Not really giving my thoughts and theories here because we are on a we are on a ride right now, and I'm just gonna let the ride play out. No point in trying to assume what might or might not happen because there's something happening every hour with this guy right now. So make sure you stay tapped in, not just to his socials, but the channel because we're gonna be bringing stuff like this all throughout Cardi's rollout and up until Cardi drops, and we're gonna keep it going. So if you guys enjoyed watching, make sure you like, subscribe, the bell so you don't miss any videos, updates, anything like that. Go in the description. Follow my TikTok, my Spotify, my Twitter, my Instagram. Get that weekly updated new music. Private players enjoy my Discord. Then the two. And yeah, it's been Bryce. Peace. Come up with the hot shit. All they do is talk shit. You can never stop it, boy. Just stop that. High end, what? Call that HD vision. All these other motherfuckers full of indecision. These are going through your city like drug money.